welcome back everyone to another fun gear review today we're taking a look at the camping moon small decorative firewood rack with top plate okay i saw this come out from camping moon online and i was pretty intrigued because i said you know what that looks like that would be the perfect size to go with my wood stove my a uh, winter well wood stove and they sell this in two versions they sell just the rack and then they sell this rack with the top now this is not cheap for what it is i think it's a little overpriced it is sixty four dollars and eighty cents currently on amazon however camping moon does do coupons and i am looking right now on amazon and they have a 10% off coupon. So, not a bad, totally bad, but not great either. All right. Now, this thing is pretty cool looking. I want to get it out of the box here. I haven't really opened the box or anything because, well, <laughs> I hadn't had a need up till today. Uh, and I'm going outside today to use my wood stove to test some other products. So that's why we're getting this guy out. So there ain't too much to see here on the box. It's a lot of, um, I assume that's Chinese because Camping Moon stuff is made in China. But uh, let's see if I can get this open. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, it's all bubble wrapped up. That's one thing about Camping Moon. I've noticed I bought several you know things from them over the years their stuff always comes really well packaged that is cocooned in bubble wrap that's a good deal okay I'm gonna go ahead and get this unwrapped and I'll bring you back have it all unwrapped here here it is in its storage configuration this is how it would break down okay this is how it goes and dimensions on this 35 centimeters wide by nine centimeters tall by 41 centimeters long okay in inches that's 13.7 inches wide by 3.5 inches high deep and 16.1 inches long so to put it together stupid easy Take the top, set it aside. You have your fire grate here. You unfold it, it locks. It doesn't lock, but it rests on itself like right here. Okay, metal against metal, it can't open any further. So that's kind of not necessarily a locked position, but it is what it is. Then you have these four points right here. Those line up to these four points here near this slot. Just sets on. There you go. So you have a tabletop and a wood rack. That's pretty much it. Now, the expanded size is 35 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 31 centimeters tall. Okay? Or 13.7 inches wide by 13.7 inches deep and 16.1 inches tall. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Oh no, 16.1 inches uh, deep by 13.17 inches tall. Sorry about that, my mistake. Total weight of this item, 3.5 kilograms or 7.7 .7 pounds. So it's not light, it's not compact. You know, this is a glamping item, all right? But we're gonna take it outside today with our wood stove, we're gonna try it out. I think it's pretty cool because you have some wood storage here and a tabletop. And this in a tent, another tabletop like this is always nice. And have it right next to the wood stove or nearby. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right. I found some literature inside there. I'll give you a look at it. There's not a whole lot here. Okay. 
There is a one year warranty, which I found kind of surprising for something like this. The rest of this little booklet is all in either Chinese or Japanese or, or both. Okay. But they have some nice illustrations, you know, some dimensions. Okay. Let's get outside and get it done. We have the Camping Moon folding fire log rack with the top here set up right alongside how I'm going to be setting up my winter well uh, wood stove from now on. As you can see, that's pretty slick. That's holding, if I maxed out the capacity on that, took the top off, I'd have more than enough wood for overnight. I know just because last time I did an overnight, and I turned the flue on that stove way down, I didn't burn nearly as much wood as what's in it for an overnighter. So that's pretty cool. So as it is right now, that's enough for an overnight. If I max it out, I'd have even more. I think that's gonna work great. So let's get a fire going here in my wood stove. Let's try everything out. Feed the fire a little bit. Yeah, I think this is going to work out real nicely. I like that. <laughs> I love that little table. All right, I'm sitting here in a folding camp chair right next to our camping moon fire rack and tabletop. As you can see, it's below the level of my knee. But if I was sitting here, I have my camp cup. You know, it's not uncomfortable for me to reach for that take a drink whatever put it back on there I'm really liking this more than I thought I would this is glamping gear but I almost gotta say it's almost a must-have if you have a little wood stove like my winter well nomad I've been running my uh, wood stove for about an hour and I just fed it again You'll see how much wood I've went through. Now most of that time I've had the flue wide open on the stove. But uh, this little camping moon wood rack and table, man, I really, really dig that thing. Uh, I don't dig the price, but uh, <laughs> I gotta say it's worked out really well. I'm happy with it so far. I have been using the camping moon wood holder <laughs> and uh, table top. I like it. It's pretty slick. You know, to be fair, it is glamping gear, but man, have I found it useful. I've been out here for a good three hours breaking in a lot of new stuff and trying stuff out, and I'm satisfied. I just wish it wasn't the price it was. It was a little cheaper. But with inflation and the dollar using losing value every day god is anything cheap anymore all right i will see you back inside got to see the camping moon firewood rack with tabletop in action and it's time for my final thoughts but before i jump into those final thoughts there's one thing i wanted to point out that i noticed after I was breaking everything down to come back inside. The way I have this tabletop on here with this decorative cutout strip facing the same direction as the logs would is not the only way this can set up. This is square and it has holes where you can do it the other way. I thought that was pretty nice, you know? I didn't notice that earlier, but uh, hey, at least I didn't miss it in the end. The thing I want to touch on is this cutout here. I'm not sure if that cutout is just to save on weight, decorative, or if there's some other accessory that goes with it. Because the instructions here are pretty, are pretty minimal, all right? I think it would be a shame for them not to have something that would go with this tabletop. 
Um, one thing that comes to mind for me when I was messing with this is I said, man, this is nice and everything. But you know what I think would be better than the metal tabletop? Is to have a cutting board, a wood top that was a cutting board. Or have one side be a cutting board and the other side just be a nice finished plywood where you could flip it back and forth, you know, like so. I think that would be really, really nice for this. I mean, don't get me wrong, the metal's all right. But if you, if you had one side of this that was a cutting board and the other side that was plywood, well, now you got a food prep station right next to your wood stove where you're probably going to be cooking. So Camping Moon, if you're watching this, I hope you're taking notes. And I'm going to probably do a Myog on that for sure. All right. Now, so my final thoughts. It is very pricey for this. $64.80 is a lot for a wood rack with a metal top. Granted, with inflation and the way everything's going in the world, it's only gonna get more expensive. So you gotta decide for yourself if this is something for you. Me, my experiences so far with winter camping and stuff have been pretty positive. I've enjoyed myself and I realize it is a whole season in the year that I had neglected. So I'm kind of going all in now. I, I want to make up for lost time. And I can totally see this little table with a log rack being super useful. All right. But that's up to you whether or not you want to spend that money. Uh, it is a good chunk of change for something pretty simple. However, you can buy just this rack. And it wouldn't be very hard to measure out where these are and make a wood top. All right. And the rack by itself is $44.80. That's a lot more affordable than this rack and this metal top as a bundle. So maybe you want the rack and you build your own tabletop. That's a way to go as well. But you're gonna probably see this later on in a Myog. Uh, I got a feeling I do wanna build a wooden top for this. Be extremely useful. One other thing I wanna say about this. Uh, I've looked over Camping Moon's stuff, and I can't find a bag for this. I wish this had a carry bag, because when you fold this down, all right, you put this with that, just like that, if there was a bag this went in, a storage bag, carry bag, whatever you want to call it, that would be great, but we don't have one. So Camping Moon, once again, if you're watching, are you taking notes? Please make a bag for this. That would be great. Uh, at the end of the day, am I happy? Yes, I'm happy. I wish this wasn't as expensive as it was. Uh, originally, I was just gonna purchase just the rack. You can get just the rack. But for 20 bucks more, you get the top. You know, hey, you only live once, you might as well go for it. But these are my thoughts, these are my opinions. I am an expert on my opinion on my channel. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all later on. Out in those woods over there, maybe getting ready for some fall camping. All right, have a good night, everyone.